I had a thought which I wanted to share. Muslims are often tricked into believing that even though learning and acting on the Holy Quran and the traditions of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, leads to paradise in the hereafter. Yet if they choose this path, then they will be miserable in this world. They are convinced that peace in this world simply lies in fulfilling one's desires, whereas Islam teaches one to control their desires, not unleash them. So in their minds, peace in this world and peace in the next world are both obtained through two different paths. This is completely untrue, as Allah, the Exalted, has in fact placed peace of mind in both worlds in one single straight path, the path of Islam. One must not be fooled by social media, fashion and culture, and instead always bear in mind that the controller of hearts, which is the station of peace of mind, is none other than Allah, the Exalted. Meaning Allah, the Exalted, alone decides who obtains peace of mind in this world, just like He alone decides who obtains paradise in the hereafter. Therefore, one must seek peace of mind in both worlds in the sincere obedience of Allah, the Exalted. This involves using the blessings one has been granted in ways pleasing to him. As outlined in the Holy Quran and the traditions of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. Chapter 16 and now, verse 97. Whoever does righteousness, whether male or female, while he is a believer, we will surely cause him to live a good life, and we will surely give them their reward in the hereafter according to the best of what they used to do. If one incorrectly believes that peace of mind in this world and peace in the next world are obtained through two different paths, they will inevitably try to obtain peace of mind in this world and delay practically preparing for the hereafter. This attitude will only prevent them from obtaining peace of mind in both worlds. Chapter 20 Taha, verses 124 to 126. And whoever turns away from my remembrance, indeed he will have a depressed, i.e. difficult life, and we will gather, i.e. raise him on the day of resurrection blind. He will say, My Lord, why have you raised me blind while I was once seeing? Allah will say, Thus did our signs come to you, and you forgot, i.e. disregarded them, and thus will you this day be forgotten. Over 400 free e-books, audio books, infographics, podcasts and blogs available on our website www.shakepod.com